And so you have everything happening at sea. But nobody sees what's happening. It's another world, it's a different planet. The Environmental Justice Foundation, EJF, set sail with Greenpeace to investigate the extent of pirate fishing off the coast of West Africa. What we're talking about is areas where the law does not exist. There's nobody, nobody to go there and tell them to respect the rules. Illegal, unreported and unregulated pirate fishing is posing an unprecedented threat to world fisheries. It is currently estimated that global fish stocks could completely collapse by 2048 and pirate fishing is destroying any hopes of sustainability. As one of the poorest countries in Africa, Guinea cannot afford to lose the estimated $110 million to pirate fishing every year. Coastal communities around the world rely on food and income from the ocean, and these are the people the pirates are robbing. This traditional way of preserving fish has been used for thousands of years. But if the fishermen don't bring back the fish, the women have no means of making a living and cannot afford to feed or educate their children. The hand-built wooden canoes cannot compete with the industrial ships. They are intended as inshore craft and are very vulnerable in the open ocean. Al Mami Kamara was fishing at sea one night. Kamara was wounded, but is lucky to be alive. His three fellow fishermen drowned. Trawling is one of the most disastrous, damaging, and destructive ways of catching fish from the sea. Weighted nets scrape across the seabed, collecting everything in their path. In doing so, they destroy seabed habitats that fish depend on to breed and wipe out juveniles crucially needed to replenish fish populations. Crew members know which fish to pick out, the ones with the highest value. These fish are packed, frozen in the hold, and will end up for sale on European high streets. The majority of the catch, up to 90%, get shoveled over the side, dead or dying. With their breeding grounds destroyed and juveniles squandered, fish populations cannot recover and are being exhausted. Illegal trawlers don't respect fisheries laws. Safety and hygiene standards are ignored. The crews live and work in appalling conditions and receive miserly pay. We have been on board some of these fishing vessels and looking at the freezing holds where they keep the fish and it's dirty and rusty in a total state of decay and somehow these trawlers are on a list of vessels which are considered as meeting very, very strict hygiene standards set up by the European Union, and therefore they are entitled to export their fish to the EU. And it's frightening to think that their fish ends up on our plates. Pirate trawlers stay at sea, 
fishing continuously to catch the maximum amount of fish possible. And when their holds are full, their catch is transferred at sea illegally to refrigerated cargo ships. Taking advantage of Guinea's lack of coastal patrols, trawlers secretly transship their fish far out at sea, often at dead of night. Cargo ships run regularly between Guinea and Las Palmas, bringing the fish to port. The stolen fish is mixed with authorised catches, making it impossible to trace the origin of the shipment. The Spanish port of Las Palmas in the Canary Islands handles around 360,000 tonnes of fish annually. Under a United Nations plan of action, countries should not be allowing facilities to illegal boats. Yet Las Palmas is a major port for servicing and refuelling of pirate ships. The combination of weak port controls and lack of international cooperation means there's no reliable way to track the movement of stolen fish. From Las Palmas, it can be transported anywhere within the European Union with virtually no further inspection. Once laundered into the legitimate market, stolen fish continue their journey throughout Europe unchecked, ending up on our plates. During this West African leg of the expedition, over 100 vessels were logged and more than half of them were involved in illegal fishing practices. If governments don't take concrete measures against pirate fishing, such as closing their ports and their markets to illegally caught fish, the marine environment and the local fishing communities will not be able to survive. Pirate fishing is stealing billions of dollars from some of the poorest people on the planet. Join with EJF to stop pirate fishing and give these fishermen and their families a future.